In this video, we will solve this question. Find all non-zero derivatives of the function below, and this is the function. So let's get started. This is the function from the question, uh, and the first derivative goes like that. So it's half, and you differentiate x to the power 4, minus 3 over 2, so that's retained from there, minus 3 over 2, and you uh, differentiate uh, x squared, and minus x, so you differentiate uh, x here, right? So minus comes from there. Now, when you differentiate uh, x to the power of 4, you get 4x to the power of 3. Let's have it. When you differentiate x squared, you get 2x. When you differentiate x, you get a 1 here. So when you tidy this up, uh, you get this 2x cubed minus 3x minus 1. Now, let's go on to the second differentiation. So d2y dx squared equals to 2 differenti uh, differentiate x cubed minus 3 differentiate x minus differentiation of 1. Okay, uh, and what you do is you retain a 2. When you differentiate x to the power of 3x cubed, you get 3x squared. When you differentiate x, you get a 1. When you differentiate a constant, you like a 1 here, you get a 0. Tidy this up, you get uh, 6x squared minus 3. When you differentiate a third time, uh, it's 6, uh, the differentiation of x squared minus the differentiation of 3. This is a constant, so it will turn out to be a 0. When you Differentiate x squared, you get a 2x, so that's what you have there. The 0 comes uh, because of a differentiation of a constant. Tidy this up and you get 12x. Um, the fourth differentiation, you are differentiating uh, 12x, so it's 12, the differentiation of x, and that you get a 1, so it's 12 times 1 here, and that's a 12. When you differentiate a fifth time, you get a 0 because that is a constant, so you get a 0 here. So that is, uh, we end here. So non-zero uh, derivative would be, the last one would be 12. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. All right, the, this question is from this particular source. Bye-bye.